So our policy about making decisions on new technology has never changed. In cancer, we rely on the NCCN guidelines. And so that decision is made actually external to United Healthcare by about 25 of the world's leading cancer centers. If they tell us there's enough evidence to approve it, we approve it. Um, CAR-T won't be any different, or, nor with the new immunotherapies. You need to develop evidence. The professionals need to recommend them based on that evidence, and that's how we decide. The one thing about CAR-T is that it's going to be very expensive. Um, those therapies will cost anywhere from a half million to two million dollars per treatment. And so we are organizing uh, both to provide the financing for that and to make sure that the right centers provide that care. Well, again, we rely on the NCCN, so there's plenty of evidence sometimes for off-label indications. In fact, most of the indications for cancer are off-label. But we're looking to the NCCN to weigh the evidence to support it. So it's their call, but the more studies you do and the stronger the studies are, the more likely you are to get a recommendation from the NCCN.